I don't want him to get fired. This is a statement we hear in the harassment context that presents a little bit of a challenge. I think we hear it primarily in two scenarios. I want to just touch on each of those and what the person receiving that statement ought to do in response. One of the scenarios is, is that you are a colleague, a colleague with a concern about somebody's behavior towards him or her, comes to you to talk about it, has not gone to HR, has not brought it to management's attention. Uh, you know, he's behaving this way towards me. I don't like it. What do I do about it? I don't want him to get fired. Uh, certainly, uh, as you know, the, the company wants this information so it can deal with it. I think in that situation, you want to assure your colleague, listen, you're entitled to a workplace that doesn't involve those behaviors. Don't assume that somebody's going to get fired. The longer you wait, the more likely it becomes a really serious situation where somebody may need to get fired. Uh, let's talk about a way to address this and, and bring this to the company's attention so it has an opportunity to address it. The other scenario is you are HR or, or management. Somebody has brought the complaint forward and says, listen, I don't like this behavior, but I don't want him to get fired. And in that case, uh, you're getting the information, you haven't made any conclusions, and you should tell the person that which is, listen, thank you for bringing these con concerns to our attention. Uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We need to gather information. Then we'll make an appropriate decision. Your input is important, and you know, we'll be back to you. Just leave it open-ended like that. Uh, the truth is, I think we know there are situations where somebody probably does need to get fired if conduct is of a certain severity uh, in order to provide the appropriate workplace in order to protect the company from liability. Uh, but one of the goals of these ongoing short videos is to build a culture of ongoing discussion and communication and accountability that allows us to address harassment type issues at an early stage at levels where somebody really doesn't need to get fired.